was just starting to play jazz and he won an award yeah and they put a band around him to play for this award ceremony mm -hmm. and that's how i got to meet phil and over the years i've kept in touch so i thought that he would be perfect for the album as well and then the only other guy that's in both bands is the percussionist and he's the same sort of thing i did a gig with a persian sort of folk rock band I didn't know any of the guys. I drove down to London one Christmas Eve, you know what I mean, to do a gig. I was asked, can you do a gig Christmas Eve? I drove down to London. I turned up on time. Nobody else was there except this other percussionist, Gabriel Nazoli. The two of us were there. We waited two hours for the rest of the band to come. Then when they came, we, I, we couldn't get, make any sense. What do you want to play? What do you want to do? Nothing like that. But Gabe and I spoke and we, we hung out. And so when I needed somebody, a percussionist for the album, I could hear what Gabe did, and that's how it all, that's how I met all the musicians and put them all together. I know. I, I want to, to know, see, uh, see, why did you choose the name for the records? Ah, okay. <laughs> well, the, the, it is a, a combination of things. The, the, the name is built from my name. My name is Roger okay. Innes, right? Okay. But also, um, I was thinking about making music that was uh, uh, quite sensual, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Quite uh, sexy, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know, in, in sex is a erogenous, pe people have, I don't know if it's the same thing in French, but in England it's called an erogenous zone, whereas there's places that you can touch women and they get excited with that, you know what I mean? Having okay. to, you know, so that's an erogenous zone. And it just so happened that the name, erogenous, yeah. Okay. Erogenous zone works okay. with my name Roger Innes, and it's yeah. Rog Innes, so it's called Eroge Innes Zone. Erogenous Zone. Okay. That's the that's the name of the album. That's where it comes from. The writing in a, it is very special because it's about the, the letters in the, in change. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's right. That was the 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 writing was designed by a young girl okay. that I know that's you know, she's a, a, an artist and, and I just, I was just talking to her one day and she just mm -hmm. threw a few ideas together mm -hmm. and, and this is basically how the idea is, yeah, yeah. it's not, you know, it, it looks a little bit rough but that's, you know, great, it wasn't thought out, it was just, this is how she felt about what I told her I wanted and this is what she came up with, Kate Thompson did a great job here. Hello, absolutely, yes, there is a, a surprise to see the base, the base, yeah, it's very special. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. In a uh, for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I have four mm. bases made by this same guy who uh, is in England, just mm. just outside Sheffield, a guy called John Shuker. Okay. And so I phoned up John Shuker and he said he could build, the, his guitars all look the same, mm. but then I say, I want this wood, I want this electronics, yeah. I want this space to do this, but I want this yeah. space to do that. And yeah. so he builds it all, and then he builds it, and that's how it works, yeah. Thank you, Dibbles, the bass player. Is the mini effect? Yeah, the effects as well. Well, the effects are sometimes just there to help. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's, it's when people are listening to things, it, it can become boring sometimes if you hear the same sound. Yeah. And so, even though I have lots and lots and lots of ideas, sometimes it's hard to get all the ideas over. So the thing with the effects is that it just colours the sound of the bass a little bit, mm -hmm. which means that the audience hears something new. Mm -hmm. So you play a new idea yeah. with a new sound, and the audience come and they hear it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the idea with it's, the effects. It's very great. It's good sound. And, uh, it, why do you you play on six tools? Um. I just hear it, it in my it, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some some people. It's been a long time. You play 15, six? 18 years. Yeah, oh, it's been a long time since long I had time. my first six string bass. Because uh, I've seen in five and six, it is very. Uh, uh, no, no many musicians. Uh, well, I think I think I think a lot. Yeah, I think a lot of people. I know a lot of musicians, a lot of bass players who play yeah. six string bass, and and it's just, I find it easy to. Mm -hmm hear yeah. the ideas that mm -hmm. the, the only problem with with bass and i play double bass upright con contra bass as well the only problem is sometimes that when you play the ideas and it's very low people can't 
hear so well. It doesn't. It doesn't. The, the instrument doesn't speak. So mm -hmm. the nice thing about the six-string bass is I can play all those ideas, mm -hmm. but I can play them a little bit higher, yeah. and everybody can hear mm -hmm. what I'm. So that's the whole. That's the theory we talk behind it. Hello. Your project is this year, the one you'll be back in England uh, one tomorrow? tomorrow? Yes, I go back to England tomorrow, tomorrow. yes, yeah, yeah. With your project for this year? Yeah, um, I'm going to be, I'm finishing off a recording with Steve Gibbons. We were recording yeah, an album Steve. this year. So I'm uh, we stay in the contact together? Yes, yeah, I'm recording with Steve Gibbons. I'm supposed to be recording an album with Sherman Robinson as oh, well at the sure. end of the year, mm -hmm. November. But before that, we have three weeks tour in the UK. Yeah. Um, Maybe I Paris? I think we're talking about coming to France next year. Next yeah, year. early next year. Okay. But not this not this year. That's so cool. Yeah, so that would be that would be great. I have another album with a Latin band mm -hmm. um, playing Latin music that we we have to finish. And then I've been playing with a uh, recently I've been playing with a, a harmonica player from who started Savoy Brown, you know, the band, the blues band mm -hmm. called John O'Leary. And so I'm doing a live album with him mm -hmm. and I'm doing a little tour with him as well. So that's a handful of things that I've got in before the, the end of the year. It's a bit busy. Don't say it's a great year. Yes, a really great year. <laughs> Definitely is, yes. Thank you, Roger. Great, thank you. Listen. Thank you so much for having me. Great, very appreciated. My pleasure. Yeah. Buy the album, buy the album. <laughs>